Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find the video useful and helpful in your designing process. If you're a return viewer, thank you so much for watching the content. I really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit that tap or hit that uh, subscribe button and tap that bell before you uh, leave for notifications and leave a like and comment below. I'd really appreciate that. That would help me out greatly. Uh, and then also, if you're... Uh, uh, subscriber uh, and I've been watching my videos uh, thanks very much we got some great things coming up I'm going to be doing a uh, uh, bangle bracelet here very shortly and uh, doing a Turkish ring and some other items uh, coming up with uh, some more command uh, uh, explanations and how to use them so uh, today we're going to talk about uh, down here you know, we have our auto hide, grid uh, snaps. Everybody knows what grid snaps are, ortho. If you don't know what ortho is, it just keeps you at a, a certain straight angle uh, when you're working. That's really good. But we're going to talk about planar and project, and I'm going to throw in one other command uh, called fin. Uh, and fin is, uh, can be pretty useful at times. And, uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, so we'll go to our curves menu and just grab a, a multiple line there, right? And right now I don't have anything uh, turned on, so if I try to draw something, it would be kind of uh, not probably really what I'm looking for, any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to turn on my snaps here, and of course you can just snap uh, from uh, all kinds of ends, and it'll draw it around, right? So snaps are very important. Close off your surfaces, and you can see it's going directly to whatever I snap to. And if I just click out here in the middle, it just goes right on my C plane, right? It just sticks on my C plane. All right, so uh, that's the original everybody knows, probably. Uh, and um, if you don't know planar, uh, it's, a, it's a great command. It's very useful in a lot of areas. Uh, so uh, what planar does is basically if I, I, you know, if I snap to something, it's going to snap to it. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Okay, so it's right there on my C plane, but then I can take it down here. Oh, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong line. Uh, so let's grab this one. Uh, so, and I can, if I draw something out here, it's going to snap to my uh, plane or uh, stick to that area, right? Wherever I snap it. But uh, if you have planar on, you, you can go around and it clicks on those things. And now when I'm clicking, if you look, it's not moving up to my C plane. But if I snap to something, it'll jump to the, the C plane. Or now that I'm up here, I'm up at a higher level here, but I'm drawing from my top view. Uh, and it's staying on that plane with that item. Now it's dropped down to a lower item. And I'm able to draw on that lower item. So if you ever come across where you want to keep it on that same plane, whatever you're working on, this is what you want to use. It's very handy. It's very useful uh, when uh, you're, you're drawing uh, certain things out, especially using the arc direction curve on stuff uh, and other things. So uh, it's, it's good to, uh, good to have uh, or good to know about. So uh, be aware of that. So it just keeps it on the plane that whatever you're wor working on. So if I just go to here, this view here, it's going to draw it on my C plane. But then when I snap it down and then I start drawing around, it keeps it on that plane, right? And then I snap it up and it's still drawing on that. But I can stay in my one viewport and it's going to stay on that plane. So it's really uh, useful. All right. So that's what uh, that's what uh, uh, planar does, and project is a little bit different. So we'll just grab that command back again, that uh, uh, polyline. And so if I snap, it's going to draw my C plane, right? And then I go to uh, this one here, which is on my C plane. But then I come up to a higher one, and it's sticking to my C plane. It's it's projecting exactly to my C plane. No matter where I click on these items, they're all different levels, but it's sticking to the C plane. So uh, if you're wanting to connect things together or something, it can be pretty useful at times too. So uh, be aware of that. Uh, so those are the two, uh, what they do. Uh, and, you know, because I was snapping to this point here, but it, it's sticking to my C plane. And same thing here, here, and then around. So uh, 
uh, it's pretty useful. It can be, so uh, just be aware of that. You, you have that tool in your arsenal. Uh, now what I'm going to do is show the fin command, and the fin command can be very, very useful. I'm just going to drag a, drag a oval out here real quick, and I'm just going to draw it right over the top of this surface here. And uh, I'll just put it there, and I'll drag it up a little bit. And then I'll just go and project it to that surface. So uh, from object, uh, project this curve, uh, enter to this surface, enter, and it snaps it onto my surface, right? Now, uh, it's I have not found it in the commands in uh, Matrix Gold. Uh, I would think that it would be like on an offset or extrude. Uh, you know, extrude sur extend surface, but it extrude surface. If I was to go to extrude, extrude uh, uh, the curve, you know, and it just has planar curve uh, to a point, uh, tapered uh, straight curve. If I the surface, I don't want to extrude, just the the curve, right? Uh, so let's just go to one of them. Let's just go to uh, extrude curve straight, right? So I select this curve and I hit it and I bring it up. It just draws it straight up, right? Uh, and it actually keeps the contour, which is exactly what fin kind of does. Fin, if you type in fin, uh, and then you select your curve on your surface, and then you select your base surface, now it's extruding to, well it's a little bit different, it's extruding to the normals <coughs> of your curve. So uh, you, you can see that it's, it, the curve is kind of curved in and it, it'll extrude with the curves, uh, with the normals, and those are the white arrows pointing, so the, the normals there. And you can also extrude uh, different points so like maybe I want this point here to come up and then maybe I want this point here to go up a little bit higher so you can uh, actually go around here and change the different uh, heights maybe we want this one down no, I'll put it up so you can extrude the uh, different heights and then we'll just go ahead and hit enter and take a look at it so uh, it'll give you different sets uh, a little bit more control maybe uh, and then also if you do it uh, you click on it I'll just bring back fin select my base surface uh, you can also go down here direction tangent now I can go tangent to that surface so I I have uh, my curve let's see what there we go uh, it goes with it keeps the shape of the curve or the surface that it's on in on the outside direct tangent with it so now I have something like this and then hit enter and then I can uh, hide my surface here and you you have a total different surface so you can you can do <laughs> pretty uh, cool things with this if you, you let your imagination go wild you want some crazy shapes or something just draw your surface out there with your your curve and then uh, put a line on it uh, and do a sweep or something and then put a curve that you want out there and then you, you're able to uh, do some crazy stuff with it. Uh, so that's kind of just this video. So that's the fin command and, and actually let's go back. Uh, let's go back. Oh, let's abort that. And let's get rid of the surface. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's really a pretty cool command to, to have. So it's just a uh, uh, and if you really think about it, uh, you select a curve. Uh, oh wait, we don't want to hide any objects. Let's go undo that. Uh, we want to type in fin, and it's really easy to remember the command because it looks like a, a fish's fin, right? And then we'll oh, select our base surface, and we want to switch that to uh, the norms, and kind of like a fin, right? So you can uh, draw curves out uh, on surfaces with go flowing with the normals of the surface, okay? Not just straight up and down. So that it's kind of useful. All right, so I hope that helps. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And uh, we'll get designing here on some other things. 
Uh, so thanks very much for watching and good designing.